Hello friends. I want to welcome you today to my Facebook Live. I'm Karina Chen and I am in Edmonton, Alberta and I like to go on weekly at Tuesdays at one o'clock to share some stamping ideas with you. I've been doing this for well, about 16 years now and I still love it. I'm still finding new ideas and things to share. So if you like this video today, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel if it's on YouTube or follow my page if it's on Facebook. So I don't know if you follow my Karina Stamps Facebook page, but I've been doing um, some training with some Facebook marketing. So I've been doing lots of fun posts over the past, I would say, 14 days. And I just posted one today, a meme of my dog, Otto. So I have a mini schnauzer puppy and uh, he is a year and a half. And oy, has he been a lot of trouble lately. He has discovered that if he goes to my garbage in my craft room, he grabs paper, runs away with it and shreds it. So I put a really cute meme on there on my page. So if you like it, make sure you comment and then share a meme with me. I'd really love to see what you guys have been doing and what you think is funny. I don't know. I'm a dog person. I don't know if you're a cat person. Lots of fun cat ones too. Uh, whatever you like to do. So today I'm going to share with you um, another card made with the decorative mask because they are back in stock. So uh, it's uh, they're 1450 if you live in Canada and they're called the Abundant Beauty Decorative Mask. And they were available yesterday. I actually bought an extra set just in case someone can't get one and is super sad. I do have one extra set. They kind of look like this. And uh, last week I showed you how to make this fun card. Let me just go down here. So we did this one using the decorative masks again. So you can find that video on my YouTube channel, Karina Stamps. And then this is the one we're going to do today. I want to show you how the sunflowers layered together. And I've got a brand new stamp set that I'll talk about too. But really fast, I want to go through what's going on with Stampin' Up! Because today, the clearance, the clearance rack got a refresh. So there's a bunch of products on there. There's some co pretty good prices. So the one ribbon I'm using on my card today is sold out. But they have one from last year that's like $3. It's kind of a canvas ribbon. Uh, they've got some white ribbon. There's a lot of really great deals. So make sure you check that out. Uh, there is also a designer series paper specialty. It's not on sale or anything, but it is on the online exclusives. And I'm going to be playing with the Tartan Foil specialty designer series paper. It's only $13.75. It's really pretty, so I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, this is my favorite because I love the translucent florals. Yeah, translucent floral designer series paper. Now, if you're not into stamping and you just want to see my video, I'll put in the comment when you can actually start watching the demo so you don't have to hear me yammer on. I have a lot of people who want to know what I'm using, so I try to do it first because once I start stamping, I just get so excited I can't contain myself or stop. Uh, and then there's also silver and gold glimmer paper, and this is adhesive back. So when you die cut it, you just peel and stick it on. This is my kind of paper. And then two two kinds of Christmas paper. I was trying to see if I had the shining. What is that? Shining Christmas? Shining something? Oh, here it is. What is this paper? Shining Christmas specialty designer series paper. Okay, that was a real mouthful. Let me just go through here quickly, and then I'll see if anyone's joining me today. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, I like the presents. Okay, I feel, I feel like I could want to, I want to make candy canes and stuff. I want to start decorating and designing Christmas projects now. Oh, look at that candy cane paper. It's hard to show how pretty this paper is, but I like it. Anyway, so it's hard to find. It's in online exclusives. So if you go to the stamping store and you search for online exclusives, it will pop up. And then the other thing Stampin' Up! is doing is that they're having World Card Making Day on October 7th. It's free for everybody, whether you're a customer, a demo. I'm going to be watching it on October 7th. And if you want to join me to watch it, I usually set up a Zoom and we kind of chat on the side while the demonstrations are going on. Um, it's Thanksgiving the next day in Canada, so I know a lot of people are doing family celebrations on the Saturday. But you can always watch the recording too. And they are using three product bundles, Circle Sayings, 
Earthen Textures and Heartfelt Hexagon. And this is a brand new stamp set and punch that I'll be using today. I'll talk about in a second. But I mainly got it because I love this one stamp. Sending you lots of love and hugs. Like who doesn't want to receive a card like that, right? And it has a really nice sympathy. It's really hard to find nice sympathy sentiments. And it has a punch. Just got it in. This is the one I got last week when Otto was barking at the UPS guy. If you watched my video last week. And then I really want to design a couple cards made with this set. So if anybody buys this bundle through me, I'll cut you the card kits that um, I'm cutting for myself. Because I want to do like a set of three. I think that would be fun. Plus the projects that Stampin' Up! has. Okay, let me just go here really quickly and see. Kathy's here. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Gail. Hello, Kim. Hello, Connie. I'm so happy to have you guys here today. I thought I'd be by myself, so thank you. And Margaret Ann, hello. Thank you for watching me. Okay, you guys are all advanced stampers, so this card might be pretty easy for you, but I don't know if you've seen the mask yet. Do all of you, have you all bought the masks? If not, I highly recommend them. If you've never played with decorative masks before, there are some ones from last year that are in, in the clearance refresh yeah, the clearance rack, refresh. Oh, that's a mouthful. But I I don't know. I kind of got these dies just for this. I think they're pretty awesome. So let me show you what I'm doing. Oh, and I almost forgot. Has anybody been participating in my Easy Stamping 1, 2, 3 challenges I've been putting out? So this is going to be the card sketch for tomorrow. It's supposed to be tomorrow night at 7.30. I have to work. I, I have a part-time job. I got to work. So instead, it'll probably be uh i don't know if it's going to be tomorrow morning or afternoon but stay tuned i think you might have to watch the replay but this is a card sketch and i will email this out to my people on my email list if you want to get on my newsletter or emailing list you can find uh, the link on my karina stamps blog okay that's what we're going to be doing and i never know what the cards are going to look like because i really just kind of stamp on the fly which makes it really fun and challenging Okay, if there's no questions, uh, no one's answered yet. Do, nobody, does anybody have the decorative mask? Let's see. Hello, Carol from New Brunswick. Nice to meet you. My friend Anne is also from New Brunswick. She always watches the replays because she says this is too close to her dinner time because you guys are, what, three and a half hours ahead? So I don't think you guys would probably know each other. It'd be like when people say, oh, I'm from Alberta. Do you know so-and-so? No, I've never been out to out east before past Toronto. That is my dream. One of these days is to get out to the eastern part of Canada because I love seafood and I want to have some lobster. And my son is a big foodie as well. And he also wants to go. So maybe next summer we will see. Okay, guys, are you ready to make this card? Because anybody can make this. It's so easy. I'm trying to get some better light. It's like dark in my craft room. Hold on, I'm going to turn my overhead light and then I'll stamp fast because I think little Otto is going to be coming and barking or doing something very naughty today. This morning I said to my husband, what is up with this puppy? Um, he needs a puppy friend. So, of course, my daughter, what's her solution? <gasps> Let's get a second dog. I'm like, no, no, I can't even handle one mini schnauzer, let alone two. Oh, that would be crazy. Does anybody else have two dogs? I don't know. Maybe when they're older, but not as puppies. Okay, so the first thing I think I'm going to show you is this is a brand new paper. And I'll kind of show you what my thought process is. So this is tartan foil 12 by 12 specialty paper. And again, you don't have to use this. You can use absolutely whatever paper you want. It's just I bought it, so I thought, hmm, I should show it. Right? It's pretty. I like Lost Lagoon. It's got this copper clay. And to me, this looks like almost like a silvery gray. So I thought it would be fun to design three cards. Now, this isn't going to be my world card making day projects, I don't think. If not, everybody has a mask. But check out this set. I thought the gray one would be nice, like for a wedding card, Mr. and Mrs. And I thought the Lost Lagoon one might be nice with Sincere Sympathy. So I'll be doing 
sunflowers in those color combinations a few days later and I will post them on my Karina Snaps page or in my Karina's Creations private group. Anybody's welcome to join that group by the way and uh, I just thought it was kind of a cool set. Okay so to use the mask let's just set this aside. Love this card. That was so fun. Stamping is so fun. These are ready to go for later. And let's see what I did here. So this is, like I said, this is a very, very easy part. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do... Ooh, I already got this in here. It's the wrong color. I don't know if I can live with that. This was my test, and then I realized I did it wrong. Can you guys see the difference? Right? One, the center pops on these ones, but not on this one, and I'll show you why. Okay, let's just keep this here. I'll put it in after. So step one, I have already cut a hole in my copper clay foil using the countryside in dies. You don't have these dies, you'll probably want to get it. They were on back order for a while and now they're available. Let's see if I have any grid paper that's clean. I've been doing a lot of stamping. Okay, this one's pretty clean. I have to have clean grid paper. It drives me crazy when it's not clean. Okay, let's check, 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 check it out. The Abundant Beauty Decorative Mask. I think I need a new case for it. A new piece of plastic. Okay, so you get, what do you get? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get seven, seven masks. So first of all, this one is what I used last week. It's a bunch of leaves for fall right? Isn't that pretty? And then this one did the houndstooth envelope because I had to make my own envelope. That's what this pattern looks like. And then this one I haven't used yet because it's snowflakes, although I really want to do decorative masks with some embossing paste, and then I'm going to put a polar bear on there. So the card's not done yet. Cards are in my head until I actually sit down and stamp. That's how I tend to design. Or use a lot of card sketches. Okay, and then you also have four that coordinate together, and they're actually numbered. I don't know if you can see that one. Two, three, four. Now, this says it's number two, which is leaves. I disagree. That's going to be number four. <laughs> I'm like, what is with that? Stamping up. Okay, I'm doing it this way. I'm doing it my way. And so what I'm doing is I just want an edge of the biggest sunflower. And I'm keeping it simple. I am just using crushed curry, copper clay, um, pool party for the sky, and then early espresso. So three colors. That's always how I design as well as in three colors. Very rarely will I pull in a fourth, but you know, sky, that doesn't count. That doesn't count as a color. Okay, let's get this out here. And then I've got my brushes. Um, I mainly use my big brushes, but I really like these little guys lately. I need to order myself another package of those. Okay, now when you use one of these nice little brushes to pick up color, you want to tap it off a little bit because see that little blob that you get? You don't want your project to have a blob. Although with this one, it's not a huge deal because really you want some different shading in your sunflowers. See, it's a little darker on the edge. Let's just make that darker on the edge here. Right, a little bit lighter. It just makes it a little more interesting. And then on this one, I'm going to do the two smaller flowers. Oh, and before I do that, let me show you the swap I got. Is that not the most beautiful swap ever? That is from Michelle Sturgeon, and she lives in Long Salt, Ontario. I'm probably saying that wrong. Like I said, I'm a Manitoba, Saskatchewan girl <laughs> who's never been out east, really. So I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. So I apologize. I really need to travel in Canada a bit more. I was actually really loved it when my son lived in Coquitlam. Because I hadn't really even been out there before. I'd been to Vancouver, but, you know, not Coquitlam. And I loved it. 
Okay, can you see how quick I did that? Now, I think, well, I've got these flowers on here. Let's decorate the inside of the card. I'll just add this very quickly. So, like I said, this isn't a hard card, but I think it's, I think it's stunning. Right? Oh, no! Okay, ready for this? There are two sides to every pieces every piece of paper so i've been doing this 16 years and i still goof so if i can do this anybody can do this and this is great for kids think about if they had some uh, brushes and some different colors of inks they would be good for hours okay that's a lot better we'll put that aside and while i'm doing it should we also do the envelope like i said i'm it's okay if i'm blobbing it i'm not too worried about that Ooh, very pretty Okay, so I've got my envelope, I've got my inside of my card. Now I'm ready to move on to the next color. So where is number two? Number two looks like this. Number two is the leaves. Yeah, I don't wanna use that. Bye-bye. Okay, number three. Number three is this one. I put a C for copper. The big, the the mass that has the larger circles needs to be your lightest uh, lightest brown color if you're doing it traditional colors. Does that make sense? And I'm gonna do this one first. Now normally if I had just done a card like Michelle did, I could just layer this over top, but I'm changing it up because I'm just doing bits and pieces. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take my baby brush. Okay, how cute is this, seriously? Stop it. It's so cute. Okay, there we go. Ta-da. Done. Isn't that pretty? I know. It doesn't take much to amuse me. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, oh, I did yellow. Ooh, ooh, ink contamination. Brush it off. Brush it off. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. So what I normally do is close up my ink pads. Because whenever I used to do a lot of in-person classes, that happened a lot. So if I'm done with that, let's close it and then we don't have a problem. See, isn't that pretty? And then where is the inside of my card? We need this one done. You'll see how quick this comes together. That one's done. And then we'll also do the same thing over here. Okay, done. And I think this would be great as a gift set. You know, you could do the same card with a bunch of different sayings if you like. You could choose different colors of sunflowers. I want to do a pink and a blue sunflower. You know, why not? Okay, so now we've got this one done. Now the next number is number four. Number four. And this is the smallest flower. So watch this. I thought this was so cool. I wouldn't have thought to do this. Now, I never tapped it off because I want it to be dark. Look at that. Magic. Isn't that just magical? Okay, where's my envelope? Who took my envelope? Okay, let's do this one. Ta-da! There we go. Right? Beautiful. It's coming together. And then I'll just do these ones. And then, really, it's just a sentiment. And pretty much my card is done. Now I am going to do a little bit of masking and I'll show you why in a second. Right? Is anybody excited about these masks yet? Who's going to order them right now? I can see why they're on the uh, low inventory list. Because they're just way too cool. Okay, so I'm done with this. Now I still need my brown. Now can you guys see this? So Stampin' Up! sells masking paper, and you can't just use a large all-adhesive post-it note, which is probably what I'd recommend, but I have these, so I thought I would use them. The only problem is, is they're really strong, so you got to put it on your pants, pick up some fluff, you know, put it on your dog, get a bit of dog hair, and then that way, then you can put it down over your project, because I'm masking it, and then I'm going to go over in my blue sky. Create my blue sky. Now, do I have to have a blue sky? No. But why don't I? 
why don't I want a blue sky? I was actually thinking about doing clouds as well, and then I thought, okay, maybe I'm getting a little crazy. But I like this masking paper because it does stick really well, and you can use it um, a few times. So what I'm going to do is just take this, and there's no stamp set case, but I'm going to peel it off, and I'm going to keep it in the inside the heartfelt hexagon. Because I need a couple more of these cards. Because does anybody answer my question yesterday about wanting um, a handmade hug card sent to them? If you did, this is going to be one of the cards. Because I think it's just so nice. Like, who doesn't want a handmade hug? Okay, so let's go like this. I'm going to put this inside piece in. And let's just see if I'm getting any comments. Kim, you like the sunflower cards are always so cheerful. Yes, I totally agree. And you like the tartan paper, Kim? Yeah, it's nice. Hey, did you order that yet? I know Kim is in the States. So because you're in the States, Kim, your paper is practically free compared to ours. Because our dollar is so terrible. But oh well, what do we do, right? And you're going to Sydney, Nova Scotia next week. Oh, nice. Yeah, I sure hope they have. I, I hope they have lobster for you too. That's one of my favorite foods. That I don't get very often. Okay, do you think I'm ready to put this down now? I think so. Kathy, oh, Kathy got the mask yesterday. Good thing, Kathy. Um, let's see. Uh, Carol, Margaret Ann, where do you live? That's a good question, Margaret Ann. Margaret Ann has friends out east, right, Margaret Ann? Okay, let me put this down here. Do, 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 do. I just think it would be so pretty out there, but I'm not coming in the, in the winter because Edmonton is cold enough in the winter. Okay, so we're safe to put that down. Now I need my frame, so I've already cut this. See, I could, you know what, that would, what, what do you think of this, you guys? That kind of makes it look like a nice little country card. I don't mind that. I think if I had not sponged the blue on here, I would have chosen this if I left it white. But because I've got the blue, I don't know if I'm loving that. So let's just glue this down. And this paper's shiny, and it's a little bit thinner than normal. Okay, let me see. I need... I lived near Happy Valley, Newfoundland for six years. Nice. I think I got you guys beat. Who has lived in Flin Flon, Manitoba? Anybody? And you're probably thinking, why would you want to live in Flin Flon, Manitoba? Well, it was pretty cool growing up. We had Flint to Batty Flonaton. You know, that's kind of hard to beat. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Okay, now hopefully this is dry because I want to stamp my sentiment on here. Now what you do is open this up so it's not flipping around. And did you know that you can actually emboss with your foam ink pads? They have to be juicy and you have to be really, really fast. So I'm using clear um, embossing powder. Okay, and I'm going to stamp sending you lots of love and hugs this always scares me when i stab my sentiment and the card's done in case i make a boo-boo you know i could just leave it like that but why not like take this up to the next level oh 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 come on i gotta be quick before it dries oh my goodness here we go there we go ta-da Okay, now let's emboss this really quick. Now make sure that your heat tool is heat is heated up, is hot before you go to put it against your powder. Otherwise, it'll just blow away. Don't touch it. Don't do that. Because, you know, you'll burn your finger. Okay, here we go. It doesn't seem like it's hot enough. Oh, here it is. Here it goes. And my tip is put it on a clipboard so you don't burn your fingers, but I'm being pretty careful. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! The magic of heat embossing. Okay, looks pretty good. Now, I you could just leave your card like this, but I thought that was kind of boring. 
So I'm just going to quickly cut these out. Did -dum, did -dum, did -dum. Just cut this quick. I did have them pre-cut and then I thought ah, I should show you guys how to make this part really quickly. So you need paper snips. If you don't have paper snips, uh, go order them right now. And anybody who orders over $65, I can give you a tutorial. I have to put it in my crafting crew group still. But there was, I think there was 50 projects last month. So I'm in a tutorial bundle group. I have to get my project in today or I'll be booted out, which would be so sad. But anyway, it's a whole bunch of different demonstrators who submit projects. And then I can share them with my customers and my team. So another tip is, is that if you, you know, are watching this video and you make a wish list and you're over $135, get a starter kit number. And basically they should just call it a happy shopper number because you don't have to run classes or anything. You just buy, place your own orders and you save 20%. And then on the very, on the starter kit, you don't even pay shipping or GST. Now, Alberta doesn't have provincial tax, so I think you may have to pay provincial tax. That is the only catch. It's one good thing about living in Alberta. No PST. And actually, I do like it. Edmonton's quite pretty. I'm close to a ravine, which is nice. So it kind of, whenever, I don't like walking there at night, though, because there's a lot of uh, coyotes in there. And it always makes me nervous. I'm thinking, what if they come out and I see one? So there was one walking down the path not too long ago that my husband saw when he was walking Little Otto. So they turned around and came back and the coyote wasn't scared at all. And is there coyotes in New Brunswick? I'm kind of curious. Or is it just like a prairies thing? And up north? I don't know. And two, we've had, we've had a moose in my area. Baby, baby moose. It wouldn't be mooses. That's not the correct word. Okay, what do you guys think of this? Isn't that just a stunning card? It just really pops off the page. I'm just checking comments. Gail, you lived in Goose Bay for two years too. Where is Goose Bay, you guys? Now I feel like I'm missing out. Do they have geese in Goose Bay? Okay, just kidding. Do they? Do they? Okay, let's put this on really quick. I'm almost done my card. To dumb, there we go. Sending you lots of hug, lots of love and hugs. I could also put let's eat cake and change this to a whole bunch of cakes on here to make a cake card. Hope your day is filled with joy. You know what? These these sentiments just make me happy. They're nice, happy sentiments. Now, I have a bit of a sad tale for you guys. This ribbon, you cannot get this ribbon. It's like back ordered till October, way after our Thanksgiving. Um, but there is, like I said, stuff on the clearance rack right now that's about $3. And it's very similar to this. Not quite as nice. It's more of a canvas, but still a nice beige color. So I would go buy that. I just cut mine in half. And I wanted it kind of, uh, you know, a little more rustic. So I'm going to stick it down with some tear and tape adhesive. Ooh, let's see if I got tear and tape adhesive. I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. I think I knocked a bunch of things over. And I got to be careful to pick them up because Otto thinks this is his personal snack shop. Although he's being quiet right now. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Sometimes when that happens, I go into my room and, you know, there's Kleenex shredded from the garbage can all over the floor. He ate a couple crafting projects. You know, you gotta love dogs. Okay, now the only thing is for this one is I need some little doodad embellishments. And I'm pulling from the annual catalog because I want to show you guys that, you know, things are sold out in the new catalog. It's okay there's lots of great stuff in the annual catalog that's still available uh, oh, I don't know where my brushed metallic dots are oh yes I have some right here brushed metallic adhesive back dots although I don't really know if it'll work with my other two projects but it looks super cute with the copper foil specialty designer series paper 
Okay, and that, let me clean that, let me clean this up. That is my card today. Sending you lots of lug, lug, lots of love and hugs. Right? Times two. There's the inside. We got a super cute little envelope. If you really wanted to go crazy, you could put three along the back and decorate the back too. But I don't know. I just think that is a beautiful card that would brighten anybody's day. Right? Super fun. And then I will come on. Well, I won't do it live, but I'm going to create two more. One is going to be Mr. and Mrs. And one's either going to be Sincere Sympathy or it might have to be Let's Eat Cake. I don't know. That's a tough call. With the other two pieces of foil... And then I think it'll create super cute cards. So I want to thank you for joining me today. Oh, look what I just did. Hello. <laughs> Clean your stamps, people. That's my tip of the day. Clean your stamps. Oh, I just got to laugh at myself sometimes. Okay, let's see. So Kim, you like that. Goose Bay was the Air Force Base just off Lake Millville. Okay. There you go, right? Goose Bay. I never heard of that before. Cool. And Kim liked, so I put the arrow in my mask. So I will, if I can find my mask again. I don't know if you saw that, but I put an arrow up because it took me a long time after I cut out the sunflower to figure out what direction it needed to go to create the mask. So, oh, here it is. See, I put an up arrow right here. So that's another tip. Up arrow so you know the direction that the mask will go. Okay, you guys, anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. You can follow Karina Stamps on Facebook. You can find me on YouTube. I hope I've given you lots of ideas, and I hope I've given you a laugh. And what not to do, do not create your own tattoos with this ink because it'll wash off and create a huge mess. Yeah, huge mess. Anyway, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and you can join me tomorrow for easy stamping. One, two, three. Bye.